love being able to wind a car out and not break the speed limit, right? <laughs> so lightweight, mid-engine, rear-wheel drive, manual transmission, only 63 horsepower. Is this the perfect car? I think it might be. Welcome back, everyone. So today I'm driving a Honda Beat. And this Beat belongs to my friend Gwen. She was kind enough to let me drive it. And I tell you what, this has been a fantastic experience. This car is just so much fun. If you don't know, the Beat was the last car to be approved by Mr. Honda himself. So this kind of makes it the last real Honda, doesn't it? And another fun fact is that it was designed by Pininfarina. And you know, it doesn't really look like a Pininfarina car to me, but there's kind of a good reason for that. Because whenever Honda asked them to design it, they outsourced the design to a Czechoslovakian guy. But this thing is quirky and nimble and just has 656 cc's of fury. I mean, it is so much fun to rev this thing out. <laughs> and it really hooks up in the corners. Oh yeah, woo! <laughs> I think a 8500 red line, yeah, this car sings. Now this particular example is a 1993 version Z. Some features exclusive to the Z are the gauge cluster, mud guards, and a rear spoiler. This one also has a beautiful Mugen exhaust. If you're wondering why it's so small, it's because it's a K car, a special class of Japanese car designed to take advantage of tax breaks for tiny cars. This makes for some unique packaging. The front compartment houses nothing but the spare and the fluid reservoirs. And in the rear, there's a tiny trunk with some provisions made for servicing the engine, but you can't really get to the engine at all from up top. You also have a couple tiny glove boxes for storage inside the car. A couple of the quirks that I thought were interesting was that the turn signal stock is on the right hand side of the steering wheel and you have to pull this little plunger to open the fuel filler. All right, so this is Gwen, the owner of the Beat here. So tell me, uh, what made you get the Beat? Um, I drove one one time. I went to a car show uh, out at Coda where I work and um, I fell in love with it. Uh, this guy had this weird little white car. I had no idea what the Smurf it was. And uh, I drove it and hauled butt around Coda, not the track, but you know, around the parking lots. And was like, I fell in love. And then I just proceeded to just look for one and look for one. Well, but we yeah. can see that you're a mid-engine fan with your Elise over here. Yes. And, but that's your second one. You had this one first, right? Yes. This was really unique to get a, you know, to get a, an import with the right-hand drive. Um, plus it's small and it's so nimble. Like people see it and they just think it's cute and they have no idea it's not cute. It's, it's <laughs> really, really adept. It's fun to drive. It drives extremely well. It handles well. It performs. It's amazing. But yeah, I agree. The, the car is fantastic to drive and, you know, you guys know me. I like small, <laughs> nimble sports cars and like, you know, yeah, it only has like 63 horsepower, but this thing is just such fun to drive. It's, it's a blast. I forget that I can't do high speeds with it. With, yeah. uh, until some big Bubba truck like goes past me and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm small, I forgot. It's so much fun to drive. The tagline was midship amusement. Hey, you know, this is my first time driving a right-hand drive JDM import. So this has been kind of a funny experience. Shifting with my left hand when I'm definitely used to doing it with my right hand is a little strange, but you know, the shifter on this thing is great. And you know, the shift changes are smooth, especially when you're downshifting. Oh yeah. Woo, listen to her sing. <laughs> Thank you. 
And you know, this is one of the fantastic things about having a small, little, low horsepower, lightweight car is that you can just ring it out all the time. I think people really underestimate how much fun it is just driving a car at its limit, no matter what speed you're going, because to be honest, we weren't going very fast. This thing just handles great, it's fantastic. It's not an uncomfortable car to drive, actually. You know, I, I actually feel like I have plenty of room. It's a little bit of a trick getting in, but as far as leg room and stuff, there's plenty of leg room, and obviously there's infinite headroom. I don't know if I would actually fit in here with the top on. I'm, I'm 6'2 and some change, and about 240 pounds, so kind of a lot of dude for this car but like I was saying it's actually pretty comfortable it's actually easy to drive I mean it's feels kind of like any other 90s Japanese car to be honest I kind of have to look down or over the the windscreen in order to see the lights well bye thanks for watching and I want to thank Gwen again for letting me borrow her car this has been a fantastic little day hit that subscribe button if you aren't already and give us a thumbs up thanks again